it's an investment. And so I just, I, on the, these were very comfortable, and I've got them brought up and in. They've got their art supports and everything, and I just had foot surgery over here. So I just went and I just painted it on my shoes. Now I have 10 pairs of white crappy little shoes <laughs> in my closet. And um, I made a deal that I'm going to every six months get at least one new pair of something. But this way I'm making use of the whole thing. So this is, this is in lieu of painting glasses or painting floor claws or repainting furniture or fill finishing on somebody's wall. But uh, this just shows that uh, when you got that extra paint and the really bad brushes that somebody else has ruined, <laughs> you can go and have fun with them. What kind of paint are you using? Oh, really? Oh, okay. So anyway, that's that's my big that's my big thing, and I didn't, I didn't even touch them up for you. So let me have lemons and you make lemonade. Yes, yeah, yeah, right. right. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. They just want uh, they just want uh, blockbusters, and I was never a blockbuster writer. I was kind of a midlist midlist writer, and I don't think there is a midlist anymore. So everybody said ebooks is the way of the future. Ebooks is the way to go. So my last novel I published as an ebook, and it's sitting on Amazon, waiting, lonely, unread. So I decided, uh, the piece I'm working on now, I decided to put it on my blog, chapter by chapter, part by part, and see if I could pull some uh, readers there. And, uh, and then they'll see the links to the books on Amazon. And I want to see if that might work. Hmm. But at least somebody will be coming to read the piece on my blog. Uh, this is a piece that I developed from a story uh, that was in the New York Times some time ago about this uh, very intellectual and attractive man who lived with me for a while. And then he ran off with his old Harvard roommate's second wife. Oh. So it makes a good story. Mm. <laughs> and and this, is, this little piece of paper is, the, uh, is my blog. It's called Martha's Pencil. Com. What does it call Martha's Pencil? Martha'spencil.com. Oh, I love it. So you can just pull a call because I know you're not going to remember that. And I would appreciate if you read it because, you know, the numbers go up as you read it. I'm looking to see that, oh, 25 people have read mm -hmm. Actually, 75 people have read part one. So read part one because part two is going up in a day or two. And then maybe seven parts. That's very clever. Yes, yes. very clever. That I just fell upon, kind of something new for me, at any rate. And um, when I started, when I have in the show, it was started with three to three pieces of round tissue paper that I used. And I don't know, you know how you accidentally come across things, and it, you know, it goes. So I started doing this tissue. I started doing this tissue thing uh, by painting some acrylic in the back, you know, smearing it up with a palette knife and a whatever, and then just building from the tissue. And you know, I just, I, I love it. <laughs> it's been fun. It's really been fun. So I did this, and I did this. My uh, niece wanted a sunflower, so I was playing around, and, and I did this one as well. And I was able to get, you know, pick up the pieces, so I was able to put a square frame on it. Uh, but Michael's ran out of these. It's certainly so. a departure from what you've done in the past, and it's, uh, yeah. Well, I was doing, you know, I was doing seascapes, that kind of thing. And prior to that, I was I've done you know portraits and all kinds of regular painting, but this is something different for me, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. That's the whole thing. Thank you very much.
So this is the most recent painting of my, my oil painting. And I have a lot more experience in watercolor. So now I'm trying to like make, a, make an oil painting look like a, a masterpiece. So I'm mean, like, trying. <laughs> I didn't try this time, but not yeah. there yet, but I'm just trying. Sure. And this is the view from the, the Jupiter out, outdoor bar uh, called the um, Square Group Park. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so <laughs> and I took photographs and it, uh, it's great. I like the shape and color of the cloud. So oh, she looks like a ghost figure. Nina so, told me this is yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. so, the ghost. Yes, flying to the That's why I did it. And then I saw the picture and it's like half, half of the water, of the blue of the water and the blue of the sky, half of, half of them. So it might be like too cold, the whole picture. But actually, it balanced out with uh, the sun setting color of the yellow and orange and the star color in the pores. So it balanced out. And what I like about this picture is that this entrance here, I, I go here this way and then it goes through together like that. And then it turns around and turns out this way. Yeah. So it's actually, your eye travels through the whole, through whole, whole picture. That's what I like about this piece. Like, what the composition wise. And then and then um, I try to actually it goes this way, and then main subject here is the boat. And because of the contrast contrast of this black and white, it it holds your yeah. eye longer than any other part. Mm -hmm. So it goes this way, and it, it takes your eyes like hold a longer time here, and then it goes out this way. So I think it worked out yeah, somehow that way. Yeah. So that's what I did. Oh, nice. Our audience is always trying to move on. Go ahead, John. Hi, everyone. John Vincent Pelosi here. My image of the Lakewood City Hall is printed on my t shirt and it was selected as one of five. Um, images to go on the centennial postcards for the Lake Forest Centennial. And these postcards are available. If you can get a little shot of this, there's all five of them here uh, by uh, three different artists. And they're for sale here at the Clay Glass Metal Stones, $5 a package. So each package contains one of each postcard. And, uh, of course, as you can see, it's available on t-shirts and mugs <laughs> and anything else I can get it for. You can get a mouse pad with Liquid City Hall on it. So anyway, so this is my art and this is what I'm doing with it. Uh, my newest adventure of trying to get my art pieces onto day-to-day -day products that you can use and enjoy. Uh, like I said, such as t-shirts, mugs, clocks, and whatever. Thank you. Thank you, John.